officer of the 101st Squadron, and I demand to know where the hell am I? Why am I chained up? Why's your back over my head? Where am I? Who the hell puts paper bats on people in the dark? I demand to know I'm an officer of the law. Blind man. Shut up, Stu. <laughs> I know a guy who's blind. Oh yeah? Who is it, boss? Oh yeah, Stu. He's standing right in front of me. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> Who are you, wise guys? Wise guys? You calling us wise guys? <laughs> you hear that, Stu? I'm Lou, and this is Stu, short for stupid. And we're here to interrogate a you, Mr. Leapston, Le Le whatever the hell your name is. I'm Officer Leapster, where am I? Oh, he's asking us questions now, Stu. Huh? Should I give him the old kabonk kabonk bob? Yeah, give him a kabonk wallop. Kenny? Kenny DiRepo? You guys talking about him? Yeah, that guy. Yeah, I know who he is. He just got away from me last week. Alright, enough small talk. Where's the boss? Yeah, let me tell you a story about him, eh? I was riding my cop car, and I was reading my speed. You hear that, boss? When all of a sudden, He's got a I caught me a you. zipper of 85 Fine, miles an hour on a 50 mile freeway. I called for backup, shifted the gears, and before you could laugh at a woman's rights, I was right on his tail. Now we need to go with some 70s chase music. Alright. We took a turn and then sped towards a wall. He jumped out at the last moment and then a big boom! I screeched mine to a halt. The car nearly flipped like a pancake. And then he went into a shopping complex and I chased him. I chased him and I chased him through gift shops and department stores and grocery markets and even women's dressing rooms. <laughs> and finally, we so came to a dead end in the French boss. burgers. Yeah, well, when we were at French Burgers, not only were there the sweet aroma of burgers from France, but there was also the ambience of an all-out, no-pout, steak-out, shoot-out. <sighs> it was awesome. And I, uh, I capped his left knee, and he fell over a boss bacon burger, and I tasted it later. It tasted so good. Oh, you won't even imagine. And uh, then he did the craziest thing in the world. Um, you, know, you know what he did? He threw a smoke bomb. A smoke bomb right in front of him, right on the ground. And I was like, whoa! And he was like, yeah! <laughs> and uh, it just, you know, next thing I know, I'm down under a table and this whole fog thing is just sort of going through the air. And I mean, it was all scary, but by the time it all let out, you know, Kenny DeRepo was gone. And I swore, I swore I could have heard some sort of car screeching off in the distance, playing loud, obviously Italian music. And then, that's when I said, why the hell aren't they listening to 70s chase music? Alright, well, he tells us what we need to know. Now we gotta kill him. <laughs> I've had enough of this. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Yeah. And. Dagger, 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 dagger.